when it says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, is it talking about 13.7 billion years ago? Yeah, I think Genesis 1-1 is speaking about God bringing into existence the entire physical universe, matter, energy, space, and time, 13.7 billion years ago. The perspective is the entire universe. Genesis 2, it brings us down to the surface of the earth. That's a clue that we're to understand by that statement. The Spirit of God was brooding or hovering over the surface of the waters. That from there on, we're to understand what God tells us from the perspective of an observer on the surface of the waters. You know, for example, light would have been created in the beginning when God created matter, energy, space, and time. But it was dark on the surface of the waters. And the scientists would tell us that the atmosphere of the Earth and the uh, interplanetary debris of the early solar system would have prevented the passage of sunlight and starlight to the surface of the Earth. Hence darkness. Fuzz, is the Bible in giving an accurate scientific summary when it says the Earth was void, was empty, and then it was dark, and then God hovered over the waters, Spirit of God hovered over the waters? Yeah, I, I think that this is one of the most remarkable passages in Genesis 1 in terms of Moses being able to get these initial conditions of the early earth correct. You know, and the phrase formless and empty comes from this Hebrew expression tohu abohu, which carries with it kind of a negative connotation or a connotation of wasteness and desolation. That's something that is kind of lost in the translation. You can't fully capture the meaning of that word. But as we look back at the early earth's history, the first uh, 100 million, sorry, the first few hundred million years of the early Earth were essentially, the Earth was a place of desolation. Asteroidal impacts, cometary impacts would have rendered the Earth unsuitable for life. It was, it's called the Hadean era after the Greek word Hades. And so this is a remarkable description as he, well. Hugh, is there any other religious book that follows the same ABCDs that the Bible lays out? Well, there are other holy writings in different religions that try to lay out a sequence of creation events, but none of them get the initial conditions accurate like the Bible does, and none of them puts it in the correct chronological record with respect to the record of nature. 